Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Real Estate Podcast. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO. That's right. Chief Everything Officer here at Independence Title. Coming back with another great podcast. We don't do them that often, but when we do them, we schedule some amazing guests. So today I have Anthony and Mark here. They are from a company called Lifetime Green Coatings. I'm not going to spill the beans about the company, but I wanted to bring them on because I feel like they are the next best, greatest thing in what they do. So Anthony and Mark, welcome to the show today. Thank you for the invite, Kevin. Really appreciate it. It's always a good, uh, fun time to get on one of these shows. Yeah. Thanks so much, Kevin, for having us. You're very welcome. So Mark, I want to start with you for a second talking. We'll talk about the company in a minute, but I want to talk about your passion for wanting to get into the franchise business and why you chose Lifetime Green Coatings to be your home. Well, honestly, I I was looking for uh, entering a a different whole slew of businesses, but particularly in the home services space, I really wanted to invest and I just found it very fascinating. Um, And then I I met someone, a buddy of mine who had joined a franchise, actually a Chick-fil-A, uh, and then he introduced me to his franchise consultant. So on my search while I was looking for, should I uh, purchase an already op- operating one or have a team start one from scratch? I had met with this franchise consultant and we were talking about it and we looked at a couple of different ones and it seemed to be a kind of a good marriage between startup uh, and purchasing an already operating business. Uh, so it just seemed like a, an interesting idea to look into in terms of the franchising concept where you're kind of like a startup, but you also have a proven system model and, and support from a entity that has been doing it for a long time. And this particular one uh, was, we were looking at a few. There was, uh, there was an insulation company. There was a gutter company, which actually was really cool. It's called Brothers That Just Do Gutters. <laughs> but we didn't end up going with it, but it was saved. Um, and then... Uh, this one in particular was interesting because when I was doing some due diligence into it in South Florida, the, co- uh, the coating industry, which we'll get more into, concrete coating, uh, is, is really booming down here. There's just so much building. There's a lot of concrete down here. Um, and there's no basements. So really the main area of storage or even most homes built in the 80s, laundry rooms are in their garages. So the garage is really an extra piece of square footage. So in the house, so there was just a lot of companies doing it. And what was different about this one that was super interesting was just, it took it to a, to a disruptive level. It's a green product. It moved in a completely different direction. It opened up an entire class of a different product used for it, uh, which was particularly interesting to me uh, to be able to obviously have success in it and be able to provide value for people who that's the only option they have. And that those are that's what kind of intrigued me enough to join a a franchise and be this particular one. Awesome, couple of things. So, spoiler alert to everyone: think just think for a minute. We'll talk. Just think about epoxy floor, right? Just have that thought in your mind. This is like epoxy next level. Uh, we'll talk about it. So, so you know, we speak at a lot of real estate events, and we talk about people that are looking to invest in a franchise, people that are looking to get into real estate. Uh, And we have found that a lot of people that come to us are the ones that maybe they want to invest in a Burger King or they want to invest in a franchise like yours. And they wind up coming to us and be, you know, getting into the real estate game and buying some type of mentorship program. So that's why I thought it was so interesting to bring you on, because we deal with people that are coming in all the time talking about, like, what should I do? I have a lump sum of cash. Do I get into a, a franchise? Do I get into some type of mentorship program? What are the pros and cons of each? And as you know, I love to educate people on on multiple options. Uh, let's flip the the microphone a little bit over to Anthony because I speak a lot when I talk about being an entrepreneur. And entrepreneurs are not so sexy to hear from. Sorry, Mark. Um, you know, people don't love to hear me talk, but we love to hear. You know, I put people in three different categories. One is a solepreneur, and that's someone who is a real estate agent, let's say. They're a real estate investor. They work for themselves. They work from home. uh, And they're on an island all by themselves. Then we have an entrepreneur at the top, which is someone like you, Mark, who invested in a business. You're an entrepreneur. You have people on your team. You're the business owner. 
but the sexiness is in the middle. The middle is what we call the intrapreneur. And that's where someone like Anthony comes in because Anthony is not just a team member of Lifetime Green Coding. He is a true entrepreneur because he lives and breathes the company as if it was his own. So he joined the company and he treats it as if it was his own. So Anthony, tell me a little bit about your story, obviously, why you chose Lifetime Green Coatings. Um, and one thing that motivated you to, to do so well, because Mark talks about you all the time, how well you're doing in the business. Um, so just tell me a little bit about that. Well, first things first, I think I'm changing my title from operations manager to professional intrapreneur. <laughs> I, like, I like that phrase that you got there. But as far as how I got involved with the company, uh, well, I guess let's just go back. So my family business in Toronto, that's where I'm originally from, I moved here this past July, has been decorative flooring, uh, in particular epoxy and polished concrete for going on 46 years now. So growing up, uh, that's what my dad did uh, when I needed some cash in school. You know, that's what I would help out with on the weekends. As I ended up in high school, it became a summertime job. And then throughout university, I was working at part time. Upon graduation, I was working at full time. And my uh, role in the company progressed over those years. You know, originally I was, I was uh, you know, the gopher. And then I ended up becoming a team leader and uh, getting a lot more face time with the clients, uh, assisting them in finding something that fitted their needs. And uh, in particular, we came up with a lot of boutique solutions for industrial um, floors that the other guys can come up with. So I got a lot of um, interesting and more niche experience when it came to coding systems for floors. Now, uh, I've always wanted to move to the States. I can't stand to see snow even for a second longer. So once I found a girl that was uh, dumb enough to let me put a ring on her finger after she heard that I was looking to move 2,000 miles from where we grew up, uh, we started on her green card process. Somebody told me we didn't get a lawyer for it. I did it myself. And somebody at some point told me that if you're looking for work, it reflects on our application much better. So I sent out one resume. And that was to this man over here. And, you know, I get a call while I'm in Jersey, funny enough, for a family thing. And I'm told, hey, can you be here Thursday? Well, I don't like to disappoint. So when I get a call on Saturday night asking, hey, can you be here Thursday? I say, of course I can. And I then spend the next uh, 96 hours running like my life depended on it. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, that Thursday, I believe it was July the 8th, I was in Florida and we were getting to work. I had my orientation at nine in the morning and it's been, uh, I'm not sure I've stopped running since actually. That's great. It's so been working out fantastically. A key skill set of an entrepreneur versus an employee is they don't know how to say no. They say, I'll find a way, right? So that is a key. And, and I know, like I said, Mark has talked about you. Uh, many, many times about your drive and your passion. Uh, we'll talk about the product next because I do want, now that we're pushing about 10 minutes into the podcast, I do want to talk about the product and, and what you guys offer. And funny little story, and we'll have to connect outside of, of the show. My wife owns a very large and successful garage door business, a family business up in Toronto. Uh, they, they serve Ontario. So we'll, we'll have to connect on that. You may know the company. Uh, so Absolutely. she's been doing that family business. It was her grandfather's business. So industrial, right. commercial, residential. And there's uh, a half a chance we did their facilities. All right. So let's talk about lifetime green coatings. I mean, I, I know I heard you on a podcast a couple of weeks ago. Tell me a little bit about the product. Like I want to know about the nerdy stuff about the product. So the it's not just epoxy floors. Like it's not like the flake system you buy at. Home Depot, this is next level. This is truly something different. Uh, when I first got here, I was primarily doing the installations. I transitioned towards, you know, more of a operations management and sales position uh, as the months went by. But for the first, I believe, three or uh, probably closer to four or five months, uh, I was actually doing the installations. And let me tell you, there is not anything that I've been around that's like this stuff. It's, it's actually something different. It is um, aggressively adhesive, is the way I'd put yeah. it. With a standard to, Sorry to interrupt you, Anthony. Just to put a note on that, 
Anthony for 10 years prior was working with the other products. Yeah. Yeah. I had done everything from, uh, I'm trained, uh, by Ardex. I'm trained by Sika. I have their certifications. I've used a lot of their more specialty systems. There is nothing similar to this product, at least uh, I'm aware of thus far that, uh, you know, fits this niche. Um, it's something super interesting. Uh, in particular, my wife preferred it versus my doing epoxy and polished concrete because I didn't end up coming home smelling like dog, uh, like a wet dog at the end of the day. And um, aside from that, it it, it 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 can be used in just about any circumstance. It requires significantly less preparation work than anything else, just because it's so aggressively adhesive. Uh, for instance, if anyone listening has ever gotten epoxy on their hands, you can tell, you know, it, it's going to wash off. It's a, a fade off probably within about two, maybe three days at the worst. This stuff, it's it's impossible to get off of even yourself. So just try and get it off of the floor. Due to the interesting nature of it, of being made up of primarily castor oil and gypsum, and having that gypsum content suspended in the solution before it goes down your floor, it necessarily goes on doubly as thick as most alternative two coat systems. And that's before we even put down our top coat. So the base coat is going down at 50 mils, which is thousands of an inch thick. And then our top coat usually goes down at about 15 or higher, dependent on what the client asks for. We can always provide whatever custom options that they want. Now, in terms of is it different than what you're getting at Home Depot with the flake kit? Absolutely, it's different than what you're getting at Home Depot with the flake kit. Half of our work is replacing work that people did from Home Depot with said flake kit. That being said, we also offer the decorative flake options. We're soon to be starting to offer uh, metallic systems. And I'm telling you now, my lead installer that I hired, one of the best guys I possibly could have gotten for the job, Michael, he has a long history of doing metallic floors, even more so than me. I was more industrial. He was more design. And I cannot wait to start offering them to our clients <laughs> because not only do we get pestered and asked for it constantly, but I can guarantee that they're going to come out fantastically. And they're going to come out with pro without providing any carcinogens or VOC introduction to anyone's home. And they're not going to make the entire place smell like it got bought out there. So, <laughs> so we're talking green, what's green coming up coatings, next. like stuff that is healthy for the environment, for people watching. You know, this is not your run of the mill stuff. I have another question we'll talk about in a second. But Mark, I want to flip it to you now. I, I want to know a little bit about what sets you apart from the competition. Obviously, there are a lot of competitors that do floor coating. Uh, what sets you apart from everyone else? Sure. Uh, there's on one side the experiential aspect of the customer experience for for regular residential or even our commercial clients, uh, and we'll go into that in a second. And then really there's the second part, which is the actual product and benefit that the end user, whether it's a retail space or it's a customer in a garage, gets for their floor coating. Uh, we'll start with the 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 product itself. <clears throat> this product, it it was invented, I believe, I may be mistaken in the exact year, but in the late 80s or early 90s, somewhere around that time frame. Um, and it's lined the inside of oil containers to prevent from salt degradation because it needed to be potable. It, 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 it wasn't even invented for this residential use case primarily. It just had such a strong adhesion effect and also was completely green. So no volatile organic compounds, like Anthony said, it's two primary ingredients for gypsum and castor oil. So some of its early use cases were like lining the ships, lining the holes of ships in Alaska, mostly commercial applications. So which spoke to its strength and durability and how long it would last. And then it started to get into the residential space a bit later on. But the only two other products that inherently exist out there that do this are epoxy and a, a polyurea, polyaspartic, and uh, different types of mixtures of the two, which all have varying degrees of volatile organic compounds and have varying degrees of durability and how long they'll last, which affects you know, a warranty for the end user. So this was a very interesting product because it's completely green. So no VOCs, totally plant-based. Well, I guess if you wanna get technical, gypsum's a soft rock, uh, but totally plant-based. But at the same time, people often associate green 
with it being crappier and not lasting as long. This is not only green, but it's stronger and lasts longer and it's thicker. And that's actually why the product won Shark Tank in 2005. It won a green vention contest in Dragon's Den, Shark Tank's Canadian counterpart. That's what separates us on the product side. On the, uh, on the just experience side, I mean, someone told me a long time ago who had a home services business for 20 years, he was asked, what's your secret to success And over the past 20 years? And he said, well, the job we do is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's significantly better than the others. But all we do is we pick up our phones when people call and we show up on time and make sure to follow up. <laughs> and uh, and we have found there's kind of a void <laughs> in that uh, with in many circumstances. So that's just what we do. We have five very strong core values. We make sure to really give a good customer experience on the residential side, both residential and retail. And we're just we're just here to help people uh, um, and get the job done right and have people fall in love with the space that we did for them. Awesome. So think about the, in your brain for a second, those core values, because I do want to get to them in a second, because I think that creates the success of any company by having mission statements and values like that. Um, so we'll talk about them. I want you to tell me what the core values are, but let's talk for a second, Anthony. Tell me the smallest type job you've done and the largest type job you've done. Are you talking about while with LGC? Yeah, yeah, through through well, Lifetime Green Coatings. I want to know what does it look like? What what are, what are the type of people that are going to call you for the small jobs and the large jobs? Well, as of not too long ago, we started having a minimum requirement for uh, uh, revenue for jobs. But back when I first arrived, you know, we'll, honestly, we'll help anyone. If you got somebody that's down the street from you that needs a little thing done, like the inside of a closet, and we're already in the area, we're not going to you know charge you out the at the at the neck to do something a little helpful while we're already in your locale. Uh, so we've done stuff like the inside of, uh, of a closet for a lady. Um, and then the largest that we've done was as of recently, it was a dog kennel by the name of Dogstown. Well, it's a dog daycare center, I might add, by the name of Dogstown University over here on South Caroline Road. Um, the owner, Adam Feingold, fantastic guy. I called him up, cold called the guy, and immediately he said, oh, wow, you have something that's entirely green and like, you know, safer for the animals, safer for the staff and the facility. We said, absolutely. He said, all right, come on out. Let's take a look at it. And we did about 3,000 square feet there. Uh, in the coming week, we're actually going to be doing a much, a decently larger job, about 4,200 square feet over at Century Village on Lions Road in Boca Raton. We're doing their walkway systems. And realistically, we can cover just about any size of job that a prospective client has. Uh, we have a multitude of installers ready to assist us and to, you know, bang out a job as quickly as you need it done, so long as we can get our product in time. Awesome. So we have garages all the way up to, to large warehouses and uh, any type of flooring that needs to be covered. Obviously, people can reach out to you. Uh, I always like to know like the range of what people are doing. And we can you know, do indoors and outdoors. Water. We can do vertical surfaces. We're actually doing R&D right now for putting it on ceilings for instances oh, wow. such as... Uh, you know, steam rooms, bathrooms, uh, we can do the inside of showers, that kind of thing. We can coat effectively any surface. So whatever anyone wants, so long as, you know, it, uh, there are varying degrees of warranty provided for the type of surface that we apply it on. And we'd be realistic with our clients. We never, you know, feed them a line of horse pucky. We give them what they're asking for, and we do a fantastic job at it, too. Awesome. Good stuff. All right. Let's go back to these core values. Who wants to uh, take one for me or tell me all of them? I'm, I'm very curious. Oh, I'm going to kick it to Anthony. I pop quiz the uh, team I already knew that you were going all to the time. <laughs> all right. So we have communication, punctuality, preparedness, positivity, and persistence. Those are our core values, and we do our best to exemplify them every day. All right. Our let's our break them down one at a time. Let's go. So communication, first and foremost, we're very thorough with our process with every client we you know if we tell you we're going to call you we're going to call you as a matter of fact it's most likely me i am going to call you <laughs> it's my job <laughs> uh so you know we make sure that you know um we communicate with the client as to when uh, what their options are what the pricing is we we're 
thorough top to bottom. We let them know that they're going to be receiving an incoming call from our installers uh, you know, the day before to confirm their appointments uh, when they're on the way to the site. Uh, you know, if anything comes up, per se, the customer isn't there while my installers are doing the job. They communicate with the client to let them know, hey, you know, this came up, that came up, the other thing came up. And then even amongst ourselves, within our team, we're constantly in communications with one another and staying on top of each other, and that's how we do such a good job. From there, punctuality it goes along and along hand in hand with the communication. Like I mentioned, a lot of communication is for the purpose of punctuality and making sure that we're all on top of everything all the time. From there, uh, preparedness. It, you're going to notice a lot of these tie back to communication. But preparedness is the s exact same thing. It's you know making sure we have what we need, that our supplies are in order, that the client knows when we're coming, that we actually arrive on time. Um, from there, you have positivity. Um, you know, nobody wants to be working in an environment where they're feeling downtrodden at any point in time, let alone all the time. Like uh, you know, some lesser places to work that I'm not going to name. But we generally keep a positive attitude, and it reflects in our custom in our clients' experiences too. You know, when you look at our Google reviews on Google Maps, all anything, all anyone has to say is, "I'm super happy. The guys were fantastic. We had a fantastic, uh, uh, you know, time with our installation." And everyone walks away happy at the end of the day because that's what we're trying to do. We're in the customer service industry and we happen to do floors and cabinetry. That's the way we like to think about it. And then from there, it's persistence. A lot of, a lot of you know, being the member of a, a community that's entering the market is, you know, having that drive, having that, uh, that dog in you that's barking and want to get more jobs, more work, you know, stay on top of things. And, you know, just do better than the other guy. And you can't do that without being persistent. Awesome. Great stuff. Listen, I think being an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, a solopreneur inside any type of business is not easy to do. Obviously, you know, you're constantly hunting. You're, you're constantly building relationships. Uh, for anyone listening, we're going to wrap it up now because uh, I try and keep them to 20 to 30 minutes. But I think the core values, if we take those core values and we implement them into other businesses of what people are doing, like a lot of my stuff is some of it's my own when I do a lot of my coaching and some of it's things I've learned from other people. It's like, oh, that's a great nugget. So your core values are great for people to be able to take into other businesses, whether you're in real estate, whether you're in lending, you're a mortgage broker or any other type of business. By taking key core values and implementing them into your business, you can see business growth over time. Uh, and I know I've referred you guys to people that, that you've done great jobs. I've seen the photos. I saw the, the, the daycare, the doggy daycare photos. The place looks immaculate. It looks amazing. So uh, you guys obviously have a great product. So let me flip it back to you, Mark, as we wrap up. Any last minute thoughts for the viewers? Um, well, first, I just wanted to say thank you for the compliments on those jobs. It's really, uh, I really attribute it to uh, our team who did a fantastic job, worked pretty hard on it. But uh, just to close out on the core values, um, we, we take them really seriously and it kind of keeps us uh, on the righteous path and not going astray of what is important to us and what we want to be represented by as a company to anyone who looks at us, uh, obviously most importantly, customers and clients, but really anybody who works with us. And that's the key to it. We pop quiz, pop quiz them all the time on it. Uh, but the other thing is we have a funny acronym for it called C4P because there's one C and there's four P's. So it just makes it a very, sometimes literally before or ending a conversation, like uh, saying hello or goodbye, it's just C4P. Just constantly keeping it in mind. <laughs> And uh, I just wanted to say thanks again for having us. Uh, we look forward to you know continued growth, and it's been awesome. Thank you so much. C4P sounds like a uh, Star Wars, some type of Star Wars lingo. <laughs> uh, all right, so so Mark, thank you, and and I know you you know you're you're the franchise owner behind the scenes a lot. We have front lines, Anthony. Like you are in the front and center, taking the phone calls, meeting the clients. You're like that frontline entrepreneur. Tell me one last thing that if someone's listening right now and they're thinking about coding their floor, why they should call you. 
because you're not going to get a better job done elsewhere. That's as simple as it gets. Speaking of which, if you want one of those jobs and you want to call me, the phone number is 561-448-2439. You can get me and Mark anytime, day or night at that phone number. And, uh, you know, that's the first step to having a beautiful four. And it doesn't hurt to call, right? If anything, they get to meet you and have a great conversation with you uh, and hopefully do some business with you. So whether you're listening and you're into the commercial game, the residential game, or somewhere maybe industrial, give them a call. Check them out. The product is great. It's green, uh, you know, lifetime green coatings. Obviously, it's in the name. It's a green product. Most importantly, as seen on Shark Tank, like their product has to be great. Uh, so so thank you all. Thing. Go ahead. One last thing that I'd like to add in, especially if you're thinking of calling in based on the conversation that you heard, that you heard here, thanks to Kevin. Uh, if you are a commercial property owner and you have a four in tremendous states of disrepair, it's got cracks, it's got spalling, it's got pitting, it's got any of that kind of stuff, our installers are also former concrete guys. We can patch up and fix absolutely any problems that you have. If you're a con if you're a warehouse that has a lot of uh, money spent each year on replacing your forklift wheels due to cracks and raised edges in your floors, we can fix that too. If you need something that's going to be under heavy duress and a lot of hard wear, we are the perfect option for you because our product repairs better than better than any other system I have ever seen. So hey, if that's you, make sure you call five six one four four eight two four three nine. Please. And me, I'm the guy. I'm going to be coming out. We're going to find a solution for you. I can guarantee it. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Sure. And if you're nationwide, if you're nationwide and not just located in Florida, just check out our website. We're all over the place and you can check us out. Awesome. Lifetime so, Green Coatings. Make sure everyone you mentioned, you heard them here on the Real Estate Podcast. For those of you watching, thank you so much. Give me a like. A uh, thumbs up, a comment, a subscribe, depending on what platform you're watching this on. As always, we appreciate you uh, listening to our podcast. We try and bring on some value-added guests. So you have the core values, plus you got intro to a wonderful product. So thank you all for watching. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode of the Real Estate Podcast. And remember, we look forward to seeing you at the closing table. Bye-bye for now, everyone. Bye-bye.